Drax, a.k.a. the Destroyer. Since his wife and family were killed, he's been on a rampage across the galaxy in his search for vengeance. Thank you, Dave, for the interview again. Mm. Uh, you had, like, the best job in the world this summer. You were saving the galaxy. How was that for, how was that for you? Um, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it really was. It was amazing. We actually... Uh, well, we shot it over a kind of a six-month period in uh, in London. It was just, I mean... I was just talking to, to James Gunn about how the movie manages to be action-packed and exciting, yeah. but it has a lot of heart and emotion in yeah. it. And I think Drax is the one that embodies this. You think? You, you, <laughs> you, you wouldn't expect that right. uh, from him. He's uh, he's a warrior, but he's right. he, he, he has a very touching story. Right. Uh, how did you uh, prepare for that? How, how was that like? I think yeah, that's what I did. As I, I kind of approached Drax, um, I always thought of him more as, as a father and a husband rather than a you know a soldier or a warrior. Uh, I think because that's where, yeah, you know, that's where all of his his pain and his rage it all stems from. Really, his heart broke over the heart broke over the loss of his family. He's the one that has to keep a straight face though during all the <laughs> yeah. during all the, the hilarious dialogue yeah. because he's funny, but he yeah. doesn't he's not trying to be funny because right. he's very literal. Right, right. And Wasn't that yeah. hard? Yeah, sometimes it was, you know, it really it was, it wasn't so much hard, you know, delivering the lines in a very, you know, deadpan way, but sometimes, like Zoe in particular, like Zoe would laugh at me a lot, which would make me laugh a lot. And what about the challenges? What was the biggest challenge? I mean, you, you're an athlete, so mm -hmm. I, I'm guessing the physical part wasn't right. all that hard. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, certain days are physically, it was, it was rough. I mean, uh, we had certain fight scenes that were, pr were pretty tough to get through. Um, you know, especially you know when you're in all the makeup and the big heavy boots and stuff and everything. You know, thank God for movie magic, but you got all this big clunk, clunky stuff and you're trying to make it look smooth and everything. But you know, there's stuff flying off of you and the boots are so big and you're tripping. Uh, but yeah, no, that definitely. I think the challenge was really just kind of, um, you know, uh, bringing you know bringing across that really emotional side of Drax. I was wondering if you would like to do a lightning round with me, a Marvel uh, lightning round. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm not good at lightning anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not a lightning person. I'm sure you will be fine. Okay. Villain or superhero? Uh, what would you prefer? Villain. Villain. Yeah. Favorite Marvel superhero? Iron Man. Team X-Men or Team Avengers? Avengers. Avengers. Yeah. Favorite Avenger? Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> In superpowers. Mm -hmm. Flying or super badass strength? Flying. Flying. Fla flying or mind reading? Flying. Flying. Gamora or Black Widow? Gamora. <laughs> Weapons. Thor's hammer, Spider-Man's webs, mm -hmm. Wolverine's claws, Iron Man's suit. I'm guessing. You're going to say Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Who would you rather fight? Captain America? Or Star Lord, Captain America. Captain America, a cape or not cape? No cape. No cape. Yeah. So if you had to pick three songs to to have in your very own awesome mix, mm -hmm. where which would you pick? Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills. Public Enemy, Public Enemy Number One. And journey, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. And what about if you needed a videotape to ground you to Earth, just like, just like Star Lord? To kill a mockingbird. Oh. You want to tell us what really happened? Star Wars. Godfather. I never wanted this for you. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now that the sequel has been confirmed, mm -hmm. my final question, um, how do you feel about about being a part of a franchise, Marvel franchise? Uh, it's a little crazy. It's a, <laughs> it's a little crazy, and it really, uh, it's just because it's just so much bigger than anything I, I ever thought I'd do. And now, you know, that the sequel's been announced before the, even, the first film has even been released, 30 years from now that people will look at us the way we look at Star Wars. And I was like, to think yeah. about that for me is insane. Where would you like your character to go? Um, you know, I'd really, 
I really hope that they tell more of his his backstory. You know, he's he's got an interesting story, and I think uh, it'd be really cool if you learn more about him and his people and where he comes from. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.